All right, so our 2023 advent calendars are, um, so I'm actually not buying any for the dogs or the animals because I'm not paying the $20 each. Last year they were $10 each, which was more reasonable. So they'll get a little treat every day. I'll make a little advent calendar. I've just been so busy uh, with the with the big truck and everything and doctor's appointments. Anyways, so Sean and I both got a lottery ticket each. We did these last year. Um, they actually went up in price. They were $20 last year. They are $30 this year. But it's just the countdown to Christmas. You can win up to 500,000. And then it's got four bonus ones on the bottom. So we're gonna pick one of these each. And you can enter online. Oh, and you can enter online. That's right, top or bottom. Which top. one? He's taking the top, I get the bottom. All right, and then I also have the Fiero Collection Advent Calendar. I love these chocolates, but I also love the box. Look at all the little figure skaters. So we'll be doing that one every day. Yes. And the lint, uh, I also got the lint chocolate. I picked this one because I thought the little teddy bear was cute sitting by the Christmas tree. So that's another chocolate one. I was hoping to find like a, a cheese one or something, but I hadn't seen any in the grocery store. Oh, US. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know if you can see us, but we're both gonna scratch um, day one. Cause it kinda, it counts down, but it goes by day because of the big one's 25, which would be Christmas day. So we're just gonna go with the, how it's set. So number one, I believe you have to have three of the same symbol. I don't know where I'm gonna shake that onto. So mine had a 10,000, 10,000, a 50,000 and a candle. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on the back for this year's. So that was what I got. We better put our initials on them so we know. What did Sean get? I'll I'll read yours. That's good because I can't read it. I know he's looking for glasses. He got a one thousand uh, five hundred a fifty and a reindeer. So that was Sean's. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. mark our initials on them after. All right. So, oh, could you take the plastic off this one? This one's covered in plastic. Sean's gonna work on that. Now the Fiero one, let's open it up. I love when they mix the numbers all over the place. Isn't it this beautiful? I should have took a picture off it. Where's your camera? Because once I start popping these out, it's going to uh, ruin the picture. <laughs> okay, that's mine over there. Hold on, stand by. I just want a picture of this. It's okay if you get, I can cut around it. Did you get it? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So actually number one is right up here. You guys see what I'm doing here? No. Number one is right there. And I'm not putting us on camera because we're still in our pajamas. It is actually December 1st. <laughs> when I'm doing this. So we took that out and there we go. Oh, I'm going to love this. One of these every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that one's done. And now we're going to open this one. So where's number one? I gotta turn it around so I can find it. Oh, right there. Is that number one? Yeah. Number one is part of the Christmas tree. Oh, it's a little chocolate ball. I'm ripping them off. Some people leave them on and keep it closed. Maybe I should have done that. Still saw my picture. <laughs> it's just a little chocolate ball. Yum, yum. All right, so that is it. We'll see you uh, tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. 
So I just um, taped the number one back in so I could enjoy the whole uh, picture for the whole month of December. Now I am adding this on to a video that I made yesterday. So um, you'll understand why we're going back in time. Hope you enjoy. everyone and welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. How are we doing? Peachy. Peachy. <laughs> Anyways, I was just texting with my daughter and I was telling her we're headed in to pick up the big rig, the transport, and she's like, are you recording it? And I said, no, but I should be. So I put the camera on. Yeah. So it's finally ready. And uh, this is our second attempt this week of trying to pick it up. So they said it was ready at the beginning of the week. And on Tuesday, we drove in to the collision place in Brandon. And there was a notice on the door that they were closed for the day because um, uh, for a funeral, one of the employees had died. So that's understandable. So then yesterday, we had to drive to Winnipeg. I had a hospital appointment and didn't really get good news from that either. <laughs> so here we are Thursday, attempt number two to go pick up the transport. So, how do you feel about picking up your transport? What does that mean? It's been tainted. It's been what? Tainted. Tainted? Yeah. Why? It's not a whole lot. Oh, because it had some repairs. It's got some new parts. <laughs> uh, oh, take your hat off. Sean got a haircut. <laughs> Eyes on the road. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> he's been down for two months. Uh, in October, we have um, provincial insurance, so there's only a couple of provinces that do that. Like, I know Manitoba does, obviously, and uh, BC, so everybody is under the one insurance. Oh, and Saskatchewan, okay, so some of the western uh, provinces. And um, in October, <laughs> Manitoba's MPI, Manitoba Public Insurance, was on strike. And we learned afterwards that it didn't actually get approved for repairs until almost the end of October. So that's why it's taken two months. And uh, the extent of damage was uh, price-wise quite high. So in saying that he's been down for two months, it has taken a beating on our bank account. Yeah, it's been haunted like a satellite launched into space. Yeah. It's one way to it. the International Space Station on. Hey, look, it's the Funny Farms bank account. Woohoo! What's it doing up here? Yes, and we're still not finished uh, draining the bank account. No. We have to pay the deductible to get it out. Yeah, the GST. So when we went in on uh, Tuesday, they have it locked up in the compound. So I says to Sean, looks like we have to get the truck out of uh, Big Rig uh, jail. <laughs> so he thought that was funny. Yeah, so we had a false bond today. Yeah, so we got to go to the bank and get the bond money to get her out of jail, and it's not cheap. <laughs> it's quite a high, uh, quite a high uh, deductible that we have to pay. On top of that, um, they're charging us the GST. Uh, so when I was looking at the bill, numbers were adding up for us to pay the deductible and the GST. Well, how I figured it out is they are charging us the GST on all the parts and all the labor. labor. And let's just say you're looking at about $25,000 in damages. 
So, as you can imagine, today's uh, payout is going to be high for us. Yeah, so Sean's been off work for two months. I says to him, um, <laughs> you'll be crying even more after we get this uh, truck out. I says to him, uh, that's it, you're back to work now, you can't come home <laughs> until you put all that money back in. Yeah. <clears throat> she might let me come home for Christmas. I mean, and it, it's actually a good thing that we're not um, going anywhere for Christmas. Yes, anyways, so, so I'll turn you around, I'll let you see the beautiful view that we see, which is not so beautiful. It's looking very wintry. It was actually snowing at home, but it's not snowing here, but the clouds are, uh, the clouds are dark. You see the odd little blue patch of sky and the sun's hiding. So I don't know why we're wearing sunglasses. Oh, you took yours off. <laughs> All right, I'll turn yours around. Enjoy the winter view. So yeah, look at these cloudy skies. Sean, I don't know what way he's driving, but I can't get it. Yay, Captain Caveman got his truck back. <laughs> I'm just going to follow him home here. Yeah, looks like it needs a bath the same as this truck. So I got home before Sean. RJ and <laughs> Jameson are out. Here he comes. We haven't seen this truck roll down the driveway for two months. Dad's coming, look. The boys are gonna get excited. Who's that? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> They're so excited, let's zoom in. Look at the two of them. Who is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> right up to the driveway. That's Jameson. So happy. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, don't slip. Did you slip? He near did the splits there. Oh, RJ's coming out too. RJ's not as excited. 
<laughs> Who is it? Gotta zoom out here. Oh, maybe I should have moved the pickup up a bit. Hold on, I gotta go move the pickup. Calm down. Look at the dirt of our pickup. Woohoo! Dad's home. Let's go see Dad. What was that noise? I oh, know. Okay, we'll go this way. Come on. Ooh, I did some uh, Christmas decorations there. I just got to put some bows on it. Come on, we go see Dad. Come on! Woo! Don't knock me flying. There she is. Woo. These two playing in front of me. Is that dad? Is that dad home? Oh my goodness. Who is it? Who is it? It's like you just come home off the road. <laughs> is that dad? Where has he been? <laughs> we love you, dad. I know, they're acting like you just come off the road. <laughs> checked him. Even Trump was cock a doodle doing for you. There, can you hear Trump? <laughs> Here, we're going to go check on the chickens. Oh my goodness. Sean put some lights up. Aren't they cute? We're going to leave them up here around. Woo! We have ice. We have ice underneath this. All right, let's get the lunch here. Ooh. Oh, Molly's in underneath. So here we go. Hi, Molly. Hello. Did you stay warm down there today? You coming out? Hey, chick chicks. How's everybody doing? Still got lots of water. <gasps> Whoa. And then there's Miss uh, Coco. She's been nesting like that for two weeks now. But we got three eggs. How's everybody doing? Hi, Opal. Hello. So I didn't mention it, but we actually, uh, oh my goodness, I think it was Monday night. We lost uh, Dove. And she was beautiful. She was having troubles laying an egg and... She was bleeding, and I brought her into the house in a box, and she was still alive when we went to bed, and I had her in the bedroom with us. I sat up most of the night with her, and uh, I guess when I fell asleep, she had passed away. So we're down to nine chickens again. What are you standing like that for? Hi, Opal. Are you guys looking for Dove? Yeah, I know. You guys were all concerned about her. But I took her in the house and I took care of her as best I could. I did. All right, I'm going to pick up these three eggs and bring them in the house. We're going to go check on the puppies. As soon as I stop the camera. What was that, Trump? Trump. What did you say? Hey, you're very vocal. Now you're not going to do it? Trump. Where is Trump? Look at the size of these new uh, chickens. They're Henrietta is bigger than Opal. There he goes. He's there in the middle. 
Hey, Trump. Trump. What are you doing? What are you doing? How's Trump today? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab the eggs. Well, there's our puppies. I just took Max and Rosie out of their crates, and these guys are curious as to their food. Oh, well. Here's the chihuahuas. Did you go pee, Miss Rosie? Hey, is it cold out for you, Max? And I found Miss Onyx sitting under a kitchen table chair. <laughs> Hello, Onyx. Did you miss us? I don't think you did. Oh, they're all attacking my feet. It's feeding time at the funny farm. We feed them, let them run around, and then they're all ready to crash. <laughs> These two are always together. This is the little boy and little girl. Oh, he jumped down. We've named him Finn, and we've named her Chewbacca. Yeah, there's another little one climbed up on that chair. And one is here. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. Alrighty, so when we went to Brandon on Tuesday, we went into the... Uh, <laughs> Seriously? Who remembers Douglas? My Douglas tree. That thing's go over 30 years old. He, his mouth is falling apart a little bit and one eyeball, but he still works. Oh, well, hello there. We're trying to do something here. Never a dull moment in this house, is there? <laughs> anyway, we went to the Real Canadian Superstore because I said, let's grab a chicken um, for dinner. So we had brought this home and it has fed the dogs three nights in a row and two dinners for us. No, I made that stir fry the one night. He says three, but it was only two. So the chicken is $8.99. No, hold on, sorry. The barbecue chicken is $9.99. We went into um, oh, we went into Giant Tiger tonight and uh, or this afternoon. And uh, the chickens in there were 11 something each. And then you have to bring it home and cook it. So my advice is go buy a cooked chicken already. And they are delicious. So we bought that. And then, so that's what we went in for. And of course the meat is over by where the chickens are. And the maple uh, breakfast sausages were on sale. They were 30% off. It says November 28, which is fine because I'm gonna put their, like they were in the freezer, I just took them out. And this feeds us two breakfasts. So I bought four of them. There was four of them with the 30% off. So they all came to, how did she do it? Uh, so it was $25.96 minus $7.80. So that was a really good price for those because they are regular $6.49. Yeah, so the, uh, the breakfast sausages. Um, Sean disappeared. Uh, grab this Toblerone. It's a fruit and nut one. Oh, so a fruit and nut Toblerone. This is going in a stocking, probably mine, because I'm the one that loves chocolate. And this was eight ninety nine. Regular eleven ninety nine for that. So eight ninety nine for the Toblerone. Um, Jameson trying to do a haul here. Thanks for the kisses. Oh, thanks for all the kisses. Can you go get my bananas over there so I can show my bananas? <laughs> get down! This house is chaos. Okay. Um, can you get down, please? What do you smell? There's nothing. There's nothing here. Thank you. <laughs> I bought a bunch of bananas. I didn't bring them over. They were green. Today, they're like almost brown. They just ripen so fast. My bananas were $1.80. I believe there's, let me just grab it. I 
there they are a dollar 80 for all these bananas so you know these have to be grown in a tropical place and uh these are still reasonable to buy thank goodness <laughs> anyways we got those i put my little tree up in the sitting room there i'll do a little tour after on another video douglas is up there we put a tree here little fireplace underneath it and my star that i have had for over 30 years decided not to work it's over there pass me my star please I pulled the wire out. Yeah. Fix that new haircut of yours. <laughs> hey, I want my star. It's over here, please. I'm looking for it. On the table. Oh. Yeah, so it was it was on the top and then we ended up having cuz this is a pre-lit tree, we had to pull all the lights out cuz one section wasn't working. So I bought lights at See? Canadian Tire. She pulled it out. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I still have it in the original box and the box says uh, Zellers $4.99. Yeah, we're gonna try to get it working, but it's not a big deal. I got my money's worth. Then we wanted to try the PC uh, flavored chips. They were, um, it was four, no, it was two for $5 and we bought four. So Sean opened one and it's all gone again already. It's the Filipino adobo chicken flavor and he enjoyed it because the bag is empty. I had one. I think it had a little bit of spice to it. How did you like this one? Okay. Yeah, so he said it was okay. Would you buy it again? Probably. Oh, so yeah, he liked that one. And then we got loads of cheesy garlic bread. And we got loads of sour cream and onion. And this one is, this is the one I wanna try. World of Flavors Turkey Stuffing. Yeah. So are we gonna try these? We'll do a little taste test. Yeah, they'll keep, won't they? When we roll them up again. Well, when, oh my God, here's Jameson again. Did you miss mama? Cause she went out three days in a row and that's not normal for mom, is it? But I came back every day. Yes, I did. Go play with the babies. Okay. Down. Hey. No, down. Good boy. All right. Come and open these, please. I'll hold the puppy. <laughs> I'll hold the babies. Oh yeah, I didn't tell them our total. So our total there, just from running in for a chicken, was uh, $59.55, and we earned 4,900 points, PC oh. optimum points. Um, it's up to you. You're taste testing. You can't. Yeah, but they'll be fine. We're taste testing. All right, we're doing stuffing first. Do stuffing first. Okay. Look at the way you opened the bag. Sorry, that's... Look at the way he it's opened cheap that. packaging. How am I going to roll it up? They buy that shit in China and then they use it in Canada. Hmm? Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. It's turkey and stuffing. <laughs> that is so good. Well, I'm bloated tonight. <laughs> Who do I have? That. That's a little girl. Sean's named them all. That's Colleen. <laughs> He's named this one Colleen. Because she's got the biggest and loudest. Mmm, those are really good. They certainly taste like stuffing. Mm -hmm. Next, let's do the garlic. Ooh. They were six weeks old um, on Wednesday, so yesterday. Look at me. My neck is scratched. I've got all these, my hands. I'm going into the hospital like all scratched to pieces. This one is loads of cheesy garlic bread. Hmm. They don't smell very good. Hmm. <laughs> 
No. They're okay. Can we save those for guests? <laughs> yeah. We might have to mix those in with something else. <laughs> No, I don't like them. Those are a fail. Mm -mm. Mm, but the stuffing ones, I'm buying those again. Yeah. Do we need to try the sour cream and onion? Because we kind of know what that tastes yeah. like. We know what that tastes like. Loads of, yeah, we're not going to open that one. But we tried the other two. Okay. And Mama likes the stuffing. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for out this haul. I'm going to do a, uh, going to sit and do a, the little uh, giant tiger haul that we did next. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Take care, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> so I went to turn the light off. And I didn't realize that Sean still had uh, Douglas on. So but he is motion, uh, <laughs> motion sensor. Vernon? <laughs> or my loud voice sets it off, he said, because I talk too loud. <laughs> Yeah, he's lots of fun. My my girls always enjoyed having Douglas out. I used to sit him uh, just out down at the stairway when they went up to bed because um, he would start singing every time they passed him. Yeah, he's, he's cute. He's uh, falling apart a little bit, but he's still cute. <laughs>